Hi everyone, in this video I will go over how to enter a range in the starting hand matrix. Also I will show how to store ranges to the pre-dev menu, so that you can load them again at a later point. To enter a range in the matrix, you can click starting hands in the matrix itself. If you want to select multiple hands, then press your mouse down and mouse over everything that you want to select. To apply a weight to a starting hand, set the desired weight here, or enter it here. And select any starting hand to which you want to apply the weight. A bar will indicate that a weight has been applied to the starting hand. If at most 8 different weights are used, then you can see here for each bar color which weight has been applied to it. Mouse over the starting hand for a pop-up that shows which weight has been applied to it, and which suits are in the hand. In case you have a hand that has multiple weights for different suits, then a slightly different pop-up will be used. And in this case it will show for each suit which weight is applied. If you hold control while clicking in the matrix, then you can quickly select 88 plus, or King 3 offsuit plus, or Queen 4 suited plus. A text string of the current range in the matrix is available here. You can also manually enter ranges here. And you can also copy paste them. We also support several formats from other programs. If you enter those here and press enter, then any supported format will be automatically converted to our format. You can also use this slider to set a top percentage. And use the red slider to remove a certain top percentage. Below the matrix the number of combos will be displayed, as well as the percentage of the total range this represents. If you are using dead cards or a board, then those will be removed from the combo count. Several hand rankings are available for the slider. You can use this drop-down to set a different order for the hands. If you want to set suits for a hand, then click on the arrow icon to get access to more options. To set suits, click on Suit Selection. Set the desired suits. Click in the matrix to which hands you want to apply these suits. A green triangle will mark each hand that you have selected. To apply your suits to the selection, click on Apply Selection. If you want to store a range for later use, then enter the range in the matrix and click on Add Range. Enter a name and accept. And the range has now been added to the list of pre-devs. And if you want to change the position of an item in this list, then just drag and drop it. You can also create categories. For this, click on Add Category. And enter a name. And the category has now been added. To put your range into the category, click on it, drag the range over the category, mouse over the insert icon, and release your mouse button. To store a range directly into a category, enter it into the matrix, left click the category to select it, and again click on Add Range. To rename a range or category, left click it to select it, click on Rename, and enter the new name. To delete a range or category, left click it to select it, and click on Delete. To see the contents of any range that you have previously entered, mouse over it. And to load the range into the matrix, double click it. If you have a range in the matrix, and you want to add a range in the pre-devs to it, then hold Ctrl and double click the range that you want to add. And now the range is added to the matrix. Similarly, if you hold Shift while double clicking a range in the pre-devs, then it will be removed from the range in the matrix. 
the available operators are listed here. And a short description is available when you mouse over them. You can also create grouped ranges in the pre-devs. For this, enter a range in the matrix, enlarge the menu downwards by clicking on the arrow icon, click on Apply Groups, and assign any hand to any group that you like. To create a mix of groups, drag the desired groups into the bar at the bottom of the menu. Then, click on the bar and set the desired distribution. When you are done, click on Add Range to store the grouped range. If you want to change the colors of the groups, or add groups, or remove groups, then click here. And in this menu you can edit the available groups. And if you like, you can also give them a custom name. In the pre-dev menu, mousing over the top grouped range will show you the entire grouped range. And mousing over any group below it will show you that group. Also, mousing over the grouped range will display a pop-up with the distribution into combos and percentages for the entire range. Finally, your ranges are stored in the directory config udev 3txt And this will most likely be the full directory for this file. If you want to share ranges from another Flopzilla Pro program, then go to Settings. Import pre-dev ranges. Select new devs3.txt, click on Import ranges, and select the location on disk for the file that you want to import. You can also import ranges from Flopzilla V1 or CREF. Those ranges are stored in a new devs2.txt file, and this file can be found in the same directory as their exe file. See here for their most likely location on disk. We also support some formats from other programs. For this, select the first option and click on Import Ranges to let Flopzilla Pro know where the files are located. Should you ever need to restore your pre-dev ranges from a backup, then in Flopzilla Pro, backups are regularly stored to the directory config backups new devs. Most likely, this will be the full directory. If you ever want to restore to a previous state, then go to Settings Import Pre-Dev Ranges, select New Devs 3.txt, click on Import Ranges, go to the directory Config Backups New Devs, and select the backup file to which you'd like to restore. So, that should cover all functionality regarding the matrix and pre-devs in Flopzilla Pro. I hope that you enjoyed this video.